Welcome back to another episode of our Most Overpowered Player series, where we have a look at some players that you might not have thought about in Football Manager that can be really good in game. Now, in episodes before, we've looked at players with great physical attributes that make them really dangerous. We've looked at players with great hidden mental attributes as well. We've looked at wonder kids with these overpowered traits, but today we are looking at your suggestions. We've rated your favorite players in previous videos, but today we have compiled a list of the players that you've said in comments have been really overpowered we're going to be looking for a team of them and I've got to say you guys have done very well we've got some players in this list of great ability some are really cheap some a bit more expensive but there's plenty of great options here I did not know 60 or 70 percent of this list and I imagine it's going to be the same for you guys so if you do enjoy the video smash the like button subscribe for more and remember to comment down below any of your favorite players and give us a reason why and hopefully then we can make a follow-up to this sometime in the future as mentioned last week we did a video on your favorite players but today we're focusing purely on those guys that you might not have heard about but in game they are deadly so let's take a look at our first ones Starting off in the goalkeeper position, and I'm giving you a team of 11 today, but I'm going to give you two goalkeeping options from the comments of a previous video that we had that were suggested because I thought they were both really good options. And our first one is Chelsea's Lucas Bergstrom. Now, he is incredibly high valuation and actually for that kind of money wouldn't be worth it. I completely agree with that. However, if you play a football manager save nine times out of 10, he is never wanted by Chelsea and this contract will likely expire at the end of your your second season meaning you can approach to sign him on a free deal or even after the first year Chelsea will likely transfer list him and you'll be able to get a 20 21 year old goalkeeper who's near enough guaranteed to be Finland's number one sometime down the line but obviously the things that make him so good isn't just the price that you can get him for eventually it's the fact that he is an absolute monster in the net six foot eight and he has got 19 aerial reach 19 communication 20 jumping reach and whilst he isn't a distribution by any sense of the word with six passing when it comes to the actual goalkeeping side of the game he has got that down with decent handling good kicking one-on-one -on -one ability throwing ability and reflexes as well he's got a lot going for him yes he does need some work but goalkeepers take a while to get up to the highest level but when you get him he'll be 20 21 and a very solid option who can go on to do big things now don't look at the star ratings too much in this video because we're playing as man city and these players are being compared to players at man Manchester City like Haaland and De Bruyne but just to look at Bergstrom if we have a look he has got 137 potential in this save it might be different in yours but either way he has the potential to be a good Premier League level goalkeeper once he gets the right development but I mentioned I give you a bonus goalkeeper as well and this guy is an absolute gem I can't believe I've never came across him before it's a 19 year old Bulgarian international goalkeeper and his name is Zvetoslav Vutsov and he plays for Slavia Zofia out in the Bulgarian division now he is valued at about 1.5 to 3 mil but he only has one year on his contract so in January you'll be able to approach to sign him and potentially get him for free and he's a much better rounded goalkeeper than Bergstrom that we looked at he's six foot four good aerial reach nice handling kicking he's good at rushing out he's got good natural fitness he is a more modern day sweeper keeper if you're looking to have that kind of style in the net for you but two great goalkeeping options and you guys picking these players out so far you've done very well because these could definitely be strong options in game. We've got some great players in this list. This one is one of my favorites, but trust me, stick around because down the line, there are some excellent options, particularly when we look at the attackers. But we are looking here at a center back from Panama who plays for Levski Sofia out in Bulgaria. His name is Jose Cordoba, a six foot two center back option. Now there's a few things I love about him. Firstly, he's left footed, which is always nice to have. Most center backs won't be. So to have a left footed player is very useful but it's his physicals that make him so dangerous man 16 strength 15 pace 15 jumping reach 17 natural fitness six foot two he is a big physical presence at the back he's got decent passing his position is okay but his tackling is excellent great teamwork ability and for a player that you can pick up for a million pounds this guy is someone that could eventually be premier league level he's still got a few years to develop just yet but he is really good in my eyes high level championship player straight away and could be top tier in your save. The next suggestion was this man, Thomas Christensen. Now this comment came from someone who was playing with Wrexham in their save. So we're looking at a player here for the lower down divisions. I think he mentioned that he signed this player early on and then he's had him for years and years as his clubs got promoted. That's how much he loves him. And his name is Thomas 
Christiansen, a Danish 20-year-old playing for AGF, a side out in Denmark. Now he is six foot six. He's got 17 jumping reach and 14 strength. He is going to be a physical presence at the back. And if you don't know already, high physical attributes in this year's football manager can cause a player to absolutely dominate. Now he's also a decent passer, nice positioning, tackling and marking ability. As far as centre-backs go, this guy is clearly at a good level already and could go on to do even bigger things. Valued at around £1 million, you could potentially get him for cheaper as this save goes on but I really like the look of him. So far though, your guys' suggestions have been awesome. So keep them coming in the comments down below. Hopefully we can cover some of those players in future videos. But this guy is a great pick, as have all of the players so far, and it's only going to get better yet. Before we continue though, I'm just going to quickly let you guys know that I do have my own channel linked in the description down below. Now if you have heard me mention my channel before and you haven't checked it out, then give me the chance because we've had a bit of a revamp of the channel recently where we're changing the style of the video. So recently we've done a couple of rebuild videos, one with Sunderland, one with Everton, and there'll be one that's just came out once this video has gone live, where we are rebuilding Hamburg out in Germany. And I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. So head on over to the description. You can find a link for it there. I really do think you'd enjoy the content and I'd be very thankful to anyone who goes and checks it out. But let's get back to the list, the thing that you're here to see. For our next player, we're moving into midfield with a player's name that I'm really going to struggle to pronounce, but I'll try my best. Elvis Rex Bukai. I think we're just going to call him Elvis for now. But he's an important player for Augsburg out in the Bundesliga. He was suggested in the comments though because apparently Augsburg often get relegated and you're able to pick this guy up on an absolute bargain price, way cheaper than the 4.9 million being suggested here. This person in the comments was saying that he signs this player in pretty much every save that he does as soon as Augsburg get relegated. And you could see why he would be very good. I mean, technically, maybe not the best in the world, but as far as a box-to-box -box player goes, He's got a fair bit going for him. Left-footed, is pretty versatile, also has a decent right foot, but these aren't the reasons you'd go for this player. Clearly, the reason this guy's going to be talented in-game and the reason this player loves him is because of that combination of physical and mental attributes. He's got great work rate, great stamina and natural fitness. He's going to be up and down, shuttling between the lines in that midfield, doing a great job for you. On top of that, he's got great teamwork, which is going to cause him to play really well in the in-game engine. He's brave, he's concentrated, he anticipates the game well. His mental attributes are top draw for a midfielder. They really are. And at only the age of 24, they could still get better yet. And physically, like I say, he's a workhorse that's going to keep going in your midfield. And you could see why he would be a great depth option for a top level team, maybe a mid-table Premier League side. He could be like a backup midfielder. And I think he would absolutely run his socks off for you in the middle of the park. This player that we're talking about here is someone that we have covered in a previous video where we looked at some of the cheapest wonder kids in fm23 now i'm gonna be honest most of you won't have this player loaded into your save but if you do he's definitely worth signing his name is labas and gom he's a senegalese 18 year old playing for Gwedaway Football Club, a side out in Senegal. Now, he is 18 years of age, valued at about £200,000, and sometimes he can have good potential in your save, depending on which version you get of him. He can be a really talented player, but what we're loving about him straight away is that if you look at him as a shadow striker, he's got the finishing, he's got the first touch and a dribbling ability to be really dangerous straight away. He's the same with his technique and his work rate. There's a lot here that you wouldn't even need to improve, and he'd already be a good player for you. The physicals and the mentals, I'd like to iron out a bit more but in terms of his technical ability for that shadow striker position as a number 10 he can be great we had someone saying that they signed him in the French divisions and he's gone on to be one of the best midfielders in the world if that's true then you would have done a very good job with him because I don't think his potential would allow him to do that well but Le Bassengom what a star what a price to get him for as well keep an eye out for him in your next save we've got two Serbian players in this list to look at and one of them is Milos Pantovic he plays for Vozdov back a side out in Serbia. Now this player can cost you about 1.5 million. He's only got a contract that goes until 2024. So before it gets renewed, it might be a good idea to try and sign him because at the age of 19, I don't think he's ever going to go on to be messy levels or anything like that. Fairly obvious, of course, but 
In terms of a 19-year-old, he's got good physical attributes all around, no real weakness in his game. Mentally, could definitely be improved, but technically, he's got a lot going for him. It's a great base set of attributes to build up from. For about £1 million or so, you can get an absolute bargain here. Can play on the left and the right. Is strong on his right foot, so maybe cutting inside as an inverted winger could be perfect for him. He would need some training before he's a really high-level player, but you could certainly see how he could have a big impact in your game with the attributes that he's got, not lacking too much he could be a gem on the wing for you we're getting close to a couple of my favorites now but still another good option here comes from Huracan a side out in the Argentinian divisions and his name is Juan Guauto now it seems a lot of you guys are favoring these younger players as everyone seems to do in football manager now it's not guaranteed any of these guys can actually have straight up wonder kid potential but they certainly have the potential to be top players for you I've never came across Gauto here before but he can play on the left on the right or straight up as a striker apparently he's natural in all three he's quick and he's agile which is going to make him very deadly in the end game engine as he gets older as well you're going to see big improvements in those physical attributes he's a good dribbler good first touch his finishing could need some work but everything else is looking good I could see why you guys would like him whether he's really going to be a top level player I'm not so sure but for that kind of price point of about two million it's definitely not the worst deal in the world and I could definitely see him being a threat in game our next suggestion is one of my favorites in the list a player that I've spoken about in a previous video before it's Maurice Krattenmacher who plays for Untenhatching they're a side out in the German divisions and they have a gem on their hands but be quick because he is wanted here by Borussia Dortmund straight away he is a striker who can also play as a number 10 but I think striker suits him quite well valued at around 300 400,000 pounds or you can try and approach to sign him straight away offer him a contract and you might be able to get him through the door only paying compensation now at 16, he already has great finishing, dribbling and first touch. His long shots are there. He's got the passing technique, the vision and some nice physical attributes. He's got a great base set to build up from. There's a lot going for him here and I feel like we need to make a wonder kid to superstar about him sometime soon. He could genuinely be world class with the right development. £300,000, what a star, what a player. For 16 years of age, this guy is phenomenal. This one I'm not going to spend too much time on because I feel like everybody knows about him already but I had to give him a mention because in the comments of the last video he wasn't mentioned by one person or two people it was like five to ten people were saying their favorite player their most overpowered player was Arda Gula and you could see why he is a technical whiz and with a bit of development this world-class wonder kid can get his physicals up to a level where he can shine in game because his technicals and mentals are already phenomenal if you haven't tried him already sign him 10 million he's definitely one for a top team but if you can get him you are sorted for the next 15 years final two players now we're getting very close to my favorite and don't forget to smash the like button if you are enjoying the content when you guys like the video youtube deems it to be a good video because people are liking it and it pushes it out to more people and at this stage of football manager obviously there is less interest in the game at this point so any support we can get is really really appreciated but we're taking a look now at valentin carboni a 17 year old argentinian playing for inter milan having been there for a few years now he is a phenomenal player number 10 is where it suggests he should play but I could argue that he could be a very good advance forward if he's developed right but he does have good passing ability and maybe in that 10 spot is where we want to have him I think though a shadow striker could be a great option for him dribbling finishing and first touch at a level that some players could only dream of combine that with great passing and technique the vision is there he's agile he's quick he's got good natural fitness he is one for the top level teams to prime off of Inter's hands won't be easy but for five million pounds you're getting a player that's near enough ready-made. I mean, I don't think he's right there just yet, but in a year or two, he will be at a level where I think he could compete in any team. But he's definitely worth scouting. See what happens in his career, and you might be able to sign him and get a bargain for your team. And finally, we're looking at a player that's never really crossed my mind, but looking at him... I don't know how he hasn't. His name is Peter Rakov. He is playing for TSC, a side out in the Serbian divisions. Now, this six foot four, 18 year old is built like a tank. He's got great finishing and he's wanted straight away by none other than PSG in this save, which goes to show if PSG want him and he's a young player, chances are he's going to be very good somewhere down the line. I've seen saves where he's wanted by Manu and Chelsea as well. He's fairly quick. He's got good jumping reach. And by the time he's 20, these physicals will have developed 
developed a lot. The mentals are okay. He could do with some work, but they're looking nice. But it's his technicals where he's already at a very good level with 14 head in and 16 finishing. If they never went up, you'd still be very happy to have those attributes at that level. Then you consider he's 18 and they're going to get way better than this. It's insane, really. He's a good passer as well. This guy is someone that's destined to go right to the top. And for about £1 million, he could be a bargain for you. So that's another great suggestion from you guys. And overall, you've suggested some top level players. But if you have any more, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.